day we moved house, I was awake early. I was too excited to sleep. Topsy, are you awake? Yes. Shh. Tim, you'll wake up Mummy and Dad. Oh, sorry. But I just wanted to check in the garden and see if Dad packed my quad bike. He did. Great. Remember that time when Tony March wouldn't get off your quad bike, Tim? Yes, I remember. <laughs> Hi, Tony Welch. How are you? I'm fine, Mrs Odell. Thanks for inviting me to play with Tim. Oh. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tim. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Come hey, on. Tony, come on. Bye, Tony. Be good. While we wait for Vinda, Mummy shows me how to make icing. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> fun, fun. Oh, Mummy, where is Vinda? I'm sure Vinda will be here any minute. Now, come on. Let's ice these cakes before the icing goes hard. Tony, my turn now. Please, can I just have one more go? <laughs> something else that was fun that we did in this house. Remember when we looked after Carrie's guinea pigs? But they got out of their cage. <laughs> listen, listen. Shh. I heard squeaking. It's coming from very nearby. <laughs> Tim, you are top class pet sitters. You really are. <laughs> Bailey and Poppy are very lucky. Thank you for your help, Mr. Fishwick. Thank you. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Gently now. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No, I think we're the only people awake in our house. So quiet. Listen. Monsters with Dad. <laughs> yes, I remember. Hatch, Ted! <laughs> <laughs> Here come the pillows! And the pillows! <laughs> I got Little Moon Bunny! I'm getting Eddie Teddy and Dr. Sausage Dog! And I've got your books, twins! Thank you! A monster no! <laughs> no! 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 Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! There's two of them! No! No! Being eaten! No! No! They're eating me up! No! We've woken up early before Mummy and Dad. Because we're excited about moving house today. Tim, I've got an idea. What? We could dress up and surprise Mummy and Daddy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Um, oh, look at this. I'll oh, have this. No, actually, 
What's this? Yeah, this. Do I look good? Yes. You look good, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Glasses! <laughs> and binoculars. And a hat. Do you remember when Tony and I dressed up as a horse for Vinda's birthday party? <laughs> Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. 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 Right. Hurry up, you two. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Tim. Let's go and wake up Mummy and Dad for the last time ever in this house. Yeah. <gasps> I thought I heard something. What are you two up to? Mummy, I couldn't sleep. We're too excited about moving house. Now, come on, let's get all this off. Get back into bed quickly for me. Good girl. Let me get quickly, quickly. Back into bed, good boy. Oh, there's feathers up there. <laughs> good girl. Snuggle up with little moon bunny. And that's when Mummy said, I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room. I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room, Topsy and Tim. And now you're all grown up. Please try and go back to sleep for me. We will. OK. It's a good boy. Day's going to be like. I don't know. Shh. Try and get to sleep. Okay. Of course, moving house day was amazing. And we got a very special goodbye present from our neighbour, Mr. Fishwick. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. Now, I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. <laughs> yeah, I hope that's OK, Brian yeah. Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr, Mr. Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. Yay! Uh, Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Bye, <laughs> fingers. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. at the door. They're having dinner with our mummy and dad tonight. It's a goodbye dinner party for grown-ups because we're moving house tomorrow. Hi guys, come on in. <laughs> Hello Brian, hi Joy. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> <laughs> I made this job.
pie full for pudding. Oh, thank you. Can we help with any last minute packing? No, no, thanks, Carson. We're all set for the moving van in the morning, as you can see. Oh, hello, Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Oh. Please don't eat it all tonight. <laughs> Please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Maybe. But right now, you need to say goodnight to everyone and I'll come up and tuck you in. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night. 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 Come on. Mummy tucks us into our beds. Night, night, night my top-tastic twins. Night, 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 Mummy. Straight off to sleep, please. Tomorrow is a very busy day. So we lie in bed for ages and think about moving house tomorrow. But we can't sleep. I think I'm too excited to get to sleep. Me too. I'm wide awake. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we'll be in our own separate bedrooms in our new house. And these bunk beds will be in Tony Wilcher's house. Oh, yeah. This is our last night of sleeping in our bunk beds before we give them to Tony. I'll miss our bunk beds. I'll never sleep on the bottom bunk again. And I'll never sleep on the top bunk again. <laughs> Let's hop round one last time. Yes! I'm going to go and see. Come on, little moon bunny. Come on, Tim. I love you, little moon bunny. Did anyone see you? I don't think so. I saw Mummy. Did you see the trifle? No, I didn't. Why don't you go down and get Eddie Daddy and see it? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Eddie Daddy and I go to spy on the trifle. <laughs> See the trifle, so I get a little bit closer. <laughs> How long did that take? Not long, actually. About 20 minutes. Because you, you ate the first two attempts, obviously. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, the custard, I didn't make the custard from scratch, I have to admit. Well, it looks absolutely incredible. Who wants them? Yeah. 
to bed and I think about the trifle until I hear them leaving. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the lovely dinner. Oh, thank you for coming. I'm really going to miss having you so close by. Remember, we're only moving two roads away. Mm. Oh, still bring Carrie over to play. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll come and wave My you off tomorrow. And um, I hope Topsy and Tim enjoy the trifle we left for them. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you soon. No Bye. Get home safely. Bye. See you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yes, trifle. Topsy, are you still awake? Have there some trifle for us? Hooray! <laughs> Mummy and Dad heard us and came up to our bedroom. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Dad. Topsy, Tim, have you swapped bunk beds again? Why aren't you both asleep? We were too excited about tomorrow. Sorry. Mm, sorry. And that's what Mummy said. That's okay. Moving house is a big adventure. That's okay. Moving house is a big adventure, Topsy and Tim. I don't think I'll get much sleep tonight either, but I'm going to try. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about waking up and having trifle for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing? The whole thing. And that is worth going to sleep for. And that, said Dad, was that. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today, Mummy and Dad had a goodbye dinner party for grown ups. Can you remember what pudding Carson and Dominique brought round? Was it trifle or was it a cake? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is a trifle. Mm. Watch this. Hi guys, come on in. Oh. Hi Brian, hi Joy. Thanks for inviting us. I brought a trifle for pudding. Thank you. Can we help with any last minute packing? No, no, thanks Carson. We're all ready for the removal van in the morning, as you can see. Oh, hello Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Please don't eat it all tonight. <laughs> Please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Great game! <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon! I want to be as tall as a kangaroo. Hello. We've got an animal height chart in our kitchen. Right, Topsy and Tim, who's first? Me, 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 me. Mummy measures us to see how much we've grown. The wall. I'm always taller than Topsy. You're a cheater now, Topsy. Yay! <laughs> I'm a cheater. I'm as tall as you are. Your turn. Come on in. Let's Thanks, get Tim. in. That's right. Oh, you've grown too, Tim. Yay! But you're not yet a pony. You're still a cheater. Aww. It's not fair. I'm as tall as you are. I'm as tall as you are. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be a pony before you are. But you're still a cheater. You're both cheaters together. Yeah, we're cheater twins. Rah! 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 
I've got a job for two cheetahs. Look. Are those sunflower seeds, Mummy? Yes, they are. Mm. Can we plant them? Please double, double please, please. Double, please. You can. And if you plant them somewhere sunny in our garden, they will grow into lovely tall sunflowers. There you go. And Tim? Thank you. And you can keep them safe in these pots. One, two. There you go. One, two. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go and plant them. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Don't forget your trowels. Oh, yeah. We won't. Here they are. Let's dig holes here, Tim. OK. We love our garden, even though it is very, very small. And the lawn is not real grass. It's plastic grass. <laughs> Look! It's a worm! Can I have a turn, please, Tim? Yes, but let me first. Ooh, it's so slimy. Let me have a turn. OK. You. You. <laughs> Do you think the worm may eat our sunflower seeds, Topsy? No. Worm doesn't eat a whole seed, could it? No, but I'm going to keep it in my pot. Just in case. Oh no! I've lost one of my seeds! Oh, where's my seed? I don't know. Oh no! It doesn't matter. I've still got both of my seeds. We can share them if you like. Thanks, Topsy. Now let's plant them. One. Two. Three. I'll go and get some water. OK. I'm going to keep a worm in my pot. We put our seeds into the soil and water them. Our sunflowers will grow really, really tall, just like us. There you go, all covered up. Topsy, Tim, time for lunch. OK. Come in, Mummy. After lunch, we'll check to see if our seeds are growing. OK. You can come to lunch too, little one. <laughs> oh, hand wash, please, Tim. Oh, OK. You too, Topsy, come on. Super wash, please. We love cheesy potatoes. It's our favourite lunch. Mm, Mummy, mm. do you think worms like cheesy baked potato? Or maybe carrot or broccoli? What have you got there, Tim? It's my worm. Oh, so I see. And this pot here is its house. Well, Tim, worms live in the garden, so come on, outside, please. But I'm trying to keep the sunflower seeds safe from the worm. It could eat them. Outside, please. Oh. Thank you. Off you go, Wrigley Worm. But Mummy says that worms don't eat sunflower seeds. Worms are good for the soil. Hmm. Our sunflowers aren't growing, Tim. Hmm. Mummy, when will our sunflowers grow? Well, it actually takes quite a long time. They'll just be getting tall as we move house. Yay! Yay. <laughs> we want a moving house party, don't we, Tim? Please, Mummy. OK, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Let's have a bye-bye barbecue out here. Yay! <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> and that was ages ago, wasn't it, Topsy? Yes, today is our Bye Bye Barbecue Party. Hello, here we go. <laughs>
Right, that was the flower boys. There you go. Nice. All our friends and neighbours are here. Because we're moving house in... Four days' time! You are as tall as a cheetah. Yay! Mummy is measuring us all. Our friend Kerry is a cheetah. Oh, Tim, you've grown. You are now a pony. <laughs> yes, I'm a pony! <laughs> I'm to end up seeing... No. <laughs> Actually, Tim, I've already measured Topsy, and she's a pony too. Look. Oh, but I'm a taller pony than Topsy. <laughs> it's enough silliness, Tim. You're both big and tall now. <laughs> hey, why didn't I show Kerry our sunflowers outside? They're taller than all of us. Are they? Show me. Come on. Come on, Tim. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. And remember the seed I lost? Now I know where I dropped it. In a plant pot by the shed. Look, it grew into a big sunflower too. And that's when Dad said... Your sunflowers will be lovely for the new people who come to live in our house, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we can plant more sunflowers in our new garden. Hey, great idea, Topsy. Brian, Topsy and Tim, come over here, please. Oh, hello, Mummy. Come on, Topsy. <laughs> Good girl. Right, we just wanted to say thank you to you, all of our friends, for coming to our Bye Bye Barbecue. <laughs> it's only four days now until we move to our new house. <laughs> <laughs> you will all come and see us in our new house, won't you? Please. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yay. Well, the barbecue's ready, so everybody tuck in. And that's it, Mummy. What was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we planted some seeds in our garden. Can you remember the name of the flowers that grew from our seeds? Were they sunflowers? Or were they daisies? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is sunflowers. Did you remember? Watch this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ta-da! Our sunflowers. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. Great game. <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon. Today has been just knights and princesses party, and we're going to dress up and be knights. Look at me, Tim. I'm a knight. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Do you know <laughs> Louise, Ray, and Andy Anderson yeah. are all going to be knights as well? I don't mind. I'm a red knight. Yeah. Come on, Tim. I've got your green night costume ready for you to try on. In a minute, Mummy. Hurry up, Tim. Oh. Quack, quack, quack. Hello. OK. Oh, I see. Come on, Tim. Please, can you try on your night's costume now? No, I just want to finish my game. Nope, don't worry. Yep, yeah, we will take very good care of Tony. OK, bye. <gasps> what wonderful news. What is it, Mummy? Tony Welch's mum is about to have her baby. She's on her way to hospital now. Wow! <laughs> so Tony is coming to our house. His dad's going to drop him off. Great! <laughs> will Tony come to Binder's party as well, Mummy? Yes, you've all been invited. So we can all go together. I wonder what Tony will be dressed up as. 
Probably a night. I look out for Tony while Tim plays. I can see a car! It's Tony! He's here, Tim! And he's wearing... Oh, he's in his normal clothes. Hey Tony, you come. Good luck at the hospital. Hi Tony. Hi Topsy. Hi Tim. Hello Tony. Where's your costume? My mum didn't have time to make one, so I'm going to go like this. Good, I'm going like this too. But everyone will be dressed up, apart from you two. I don't mind. I don't mind either. It's up to you two boys, but we're leaving for the party soon. You could choose something from my dressing up things, Tony. No thanks. My next party is going to be a, an animal party. What animal will you be? A horse! <laughs> I'll be a horse too. Like this one. I've got an idea for Binder's party. Come up the stairs. OK, Tony. Bottoms, what for? We're going to be a horse for Vinda's party. A night horse. How are we going to do that with these? Well, with my two legs wearing these and your two legs wearing those, makes one, two, three, four legs. The four legs of a horse. Oh, I see. I'll be the horse's front legs. You can be the horse's back legs. This is going to be fun! Put them on, Tony. Tim! What are you doing? I wish you and Tony would dress up for Vinda's party. Please! Yes! Tim, <laughs> we'll be leaving for Vinda's party in ten minutes. OK, Mummy! Take these eyes off me. <laughs> I'll go and find a tail. Long football socks as the tail. I'll hold the horse's tail at the back. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. You tell the boys we're ready. Tim, Tony, it's time to go. We're coming. Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. Right, left, 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 right. Hurry up, you two! Wow! Hey! Hey! Mummy, look! Tim, Tony, what a fantastic costume! I'll help you down the stairs. Wait there. We need to be very careful. We're still getting used to walking together. I'm sure. Are you okay back there, Tony? Yes, thank okay. you. <laughs> I'm 
sorry I didn't wear your Green Knights costume you made me. Well, that's OK. I think your horse costume is much better. I hope you want to be a knight another time. Yes, please. <laughs> now, I think I should take a photograph of you all. What do you think? Yeah! OK, come on round here. Grab my camera. Why don't you go round here so Mummy can see you? Perfect. You get yourselves into good positions. Come round here for me. Tony at the back. Lovely, are we? Horsey. <laughs> are we ready? One, two, three, smile! Perfect. Now, who's ready to go to a party? Me! Me, me I am. <laughs> no, I'm a red knight with my very own horse. <laughs> and together we've got the best costumes, haven't we, you two? Yes. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> oh, hold on just a minute. I've, I've just got a text message. It's from your dad, Tony. And that's when Mummy said... Tony's mum has just had a baby boy. Tony's mum has just had a baby boy. And his name's going to be Jack. Jack! 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 I like that name. Yay! I think you will make a brilliant big brother, Tony. I will. Yay! I'm a big brother. <laughs> Shall we tell everyone about baby Jack at Vinda's party? Yeah! Come on, then. Let's go. To our son, And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tim and Tony dressed up as a horse. Can you remember what they used for the horse's head? Was it an old shoe? Or was it a welly boot? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a welly boot. Watch this. Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left, now right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left. Right, left, 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 right. Hurry up, you two! Wow! Hey, hey! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Harry's come round to show us her costume for Vinda's party tomorrow. It's a Knights and Princesses party. You're a really pretty <laughs> princess, Kerry. Thank you, Topsy. I'm going to be a red knight at Vinda's party. What are you going to be, Tim? I'm going to be a green knight. Do you want to see our costumes, Oh, Kerry? yes, please, Topsy and Tim. Kerry, your mum's here. Oh. Show Kerry our night costumes. Tomorrow, Topsy, at Vinda's party. But right now, Kerry's mum needs her to go. I'm going shopping with my mummy to go and buy Vinda's birthday present. <laughs> we need to buy Vinda a birthday present too, mummy. I've already bought Vinda's present. You'll see. Come on, let's go down. Come on, Topsy. Come on, Tim. So we say goodbye to Kerry. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Joy. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Kerry. See you soon. Bye, Bye. And Mummy tells us that Vinda's birthday Bye. present is being delivered to our house soon by the supermarket delivery van. I'll see it before you. No, I will. I'll see the van before you. What is Vinda's present, Mummy? What have we bought her? Just keep looking out of the window for me, please, Topsy and Tim. See if you can see that van. We wait for the supermarket van for ages. Eddie, Teddy and Little Moon Bunny help. I think it will be Howard delivering all the shopping today. No, Stuart. Actually, Rosie. <laughs> yes, Rosie. Mm. I think I heard the van. Really? There it is. <gasps> I can see it. Mummy, it's here. Right, twins. Oh, hello, Rosie. Come in. It's Rosie. Hello, Rosie. I hope to be you. Oh, hi, Topsy. Hi, Tim. And hello, you two cuddly toys, too. Right, 
Right, <laughs> should we get the shopping into the kitchen? Yeah. Yes. yes. Mummy. Oh, is it someone's birthday? Yes, it's our friend Vinda's birthday. We're going to her party tomorrow. Her present's in one of these bags. Lucky Vinda. Now, shall we write our names as usual? Yes! Mummy, can you sign your name here for the shopping? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And whose turn is it to write their name next to Mummy's? It's mine this time. OK, Tim, you write your name nice and clearly for Rosie, please. OK. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely writing. Thank and you. it's your turn next time, Topsy. OK. All right, I've got to go. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rosie. Bye, Bye. Rosie. Mummy, stickers, a sticker book. Well found, Topsy. Oh, cool. It's got princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? That's what I found. <laughs> oh, there's the card. <laughs> did you buy wrapping paper to wrap up Vinda's present, Mummy? Yes. It's on those seats. Oh, the supermarket must have forgotten to send it. Oh, no. any wrapping paper to wrap up Flinda's present with. Don't worry, I'll call Dad and ask him to get some on his way home. Yes! Yes! Hi, Bri, it's me. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Um, please could you pick up some wrapping paper for us on the way home? OK, no, no, no problem. Yeah, OK, we'll see you later. Bye! Yes! yes. What, what did he say, Mummy? What did he say? Oh, Daddy's a bit too busy at work, so he can't pick any up at the moment. We'll have to think of something else. Well, Linda's birthday party is tomorrow. Yeah. What are you going to do? I know! We can make our own wrapping paper! That is a fantastic idea, Topsy. Why don't you two put your aprons on and I'll get all this tidied up. Now you rip it, Tim. Yes. Linda loves butterflies, so I'm going to paint butterflies on her wrapping paper. I'm going to paint multicoloured spots. Right. Painting the wrapping paper is easy, but waiting for it to dry takes ages. After a bath, I come down to see if it's ready. It's dry! I'll wrap the present and I'll do the sticky tape. Okay, it's a sticky tape. Um, where is it? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Tim, you sit in there for me. Topsy, you come and sit in here. Brilliant. I'll wrap the present. Okay. Wrapping twins, great teamwork. Nearly done? Nearly. Yeah. We just need one more piece. <laughs> one more piece. There you go. Yay! Yes! Perfect. Well now for the card. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Love. From. Tim, but I found this in my van. Butterfly wrapping paper. 
Is it to wrap Vinda's birthday present? Yes! yes! Good, I thought it was yours. I'll see you next time. Wish Vinda a happy birthday from me. Aww. OK. Bye! 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 Bye. Thank you! <laughs> so, shall we unwrap Vinda's present and wrap it in this paper, Tim? No, I've got an idea. Maybe we could wrap this wrapping paper over our wrapping paper. Like our sparsel. Yeah. Good idea, Tim. It's your turn to wrap this time. I like wrapping presents. I love opening presents. Well, it's your next birthday very soon, so you'll have lots of presents to open then, won't you? Yes! And that's what Mummy said. I can't, I can't believe, believe my little, little twins are going to be five years old. I can't believe my little twins are going to be five years old on their next birthday, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> five? Wow! <laughs> it's a big number! I think we should have a fabulous five birthday party at our new house. What do you think? Yeah! yeah. Please. <laughs> right. Let's get wrapping this present so that you two can get off to bed and be wide awake for Vinda's party tomorrow. And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we wrapped Brinda's present. Was her present a teddy bear? Or was it a sticker book? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a sticker book. Watch this. <laughs> A present, Mummy. Stickers, a sticker book. Well found, Topsy. Oh, cool. It's got princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? That's what I found. Oh, there's a card. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. sticks on the way home from nursery school. Look at my funny stick, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sticker. <laughs> Hello, Sticky. My favourite is this funny knobbly stick. Sticky is the best stick, Tim. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> You're a very good stick finder, Topsy. I know. Look, she's even got a face, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a face. <laughs> she's funny. Yes, she is funny. What a wonderful stick collection, Topsy and Tim. Can you put them down here on this newspaper for me, please? OK, okay Mummy. Thank you. Thank you. Sticky <laughs> due to be put down. <laughs> right, who's thirsty? Me! <laughs> Hello, Grandma. <laughs> His name's Sticky. Oh. He's got a face, head, arms and everything, really. Well, that's Hello. fantastic. Nice Hello. to meet you. Can I have a little look at him? Oh, isn't he lovely? I tell you what, Topsy, why don't you put him down with all his other sticks? I think he'll enjoy that because I want my Hello, Grandma Hubble, Topsy and Tim. Squeeze! <laughs> <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> sticky! Mossy's got sticky! Oh, Mossy. You know sticks aren't 
good for you. Mossy! Drinkies, Mossy Doggy! Mossy! Mossy! Mossy's hidden sticky somewhere upstairs. I can't find oh, her. Mossy. Sorry, Topsy. It'll turn up. Don't worry. I'll go and help Topsy to look. We're good at finding things. Thank you, Tim. And tell Topsy not to worry. Sticky will turn up. OK. Please show us where you've hidden Sticky, Mossy. I'll let you cuddle little Moon Bunny if you do. Come on, Mossy. Mossy. She's really tired. It was a long walk to our house. Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mummy and Dad's bed for Sticky? No. I'll go and look there for you. I look under Mummy and Dad's bed. I look in the bathroom. But no Sticky. Have you put Sticky? Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mossy and see if Mossy's lying on Sticky? I hadn't thought of that. Well, if I just look under here... Have you twins found Sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma! Hmm. Come on, Mossy. Please stand up. Get up. I know. <laughs> well done, Tim. Oh, no sticky. I give up. I'll keep looking. Penny, look. Has Mossy shown you where she's put Sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma. Silly, sleepy dog. Come down and see what I found for you instead. And if she doesn't bring Sticky back soon, I'll check on her myself. Here she comes. Come on, honey bun. What about this long stick, Topsy? It doesn't have a face like Sticky. What about this one? No, thank you, but I just want Sticky. Oh. Come and sit here. Do you know what I do when I lose things? No, Grandma. I find something else to do. And then, just when I've stopped thinking about the thing I've lost, I find it. Does that work? Always. Just you wait and see. Come and have some juice. And that was when I saw something. It was in our letterbox. A letter! Tim, a letter! Is it for us? Is this for us? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Can you read whose name's on the front, Topsy? It says... Topsy, Topsy and Tim! Tim. <laughs> We'll bring it into the kitchen and let's open it. Come on. Mummy, we've got a letter. Let's open it together, Tim. <gasps> Is this an invitation? <laughs> to a party? Let's have a look. Topsy and Tim are invited to Vinda's Knights and Princesses party. How exciting. It's on Friday. <laughs> We're going to Vinda's party. We're going to Vinda's party! <laughs> Hello, Mossy. What have you got there? <laughs> Sticky! Good girl, Mossy. Sticky, where were you? Thanks, Mossy. Oh, that's right, Topsy. Give her a lovely cuddle to say thank you. You were right, Grandma. When I forgot about Sticky, I got her back. You see? 
Well, I think it's time for me and this staff dog to get going. We've got a long walk home. OK. Right, come on, Mossy. And that's when Mummy said... What, what are you going to wear to Binda's fancy dress party? What are you going to wear to Binda's fancy dress party, Topsy and Tim? I'm going to be a knight! Oh! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> and I'm going to use Sticky as my sword. Ooh! <laughs> you get her back then? And, and that's, that's their grandma was that. Bye -bye. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Topsy's favourite stick, Sticky, went missing. But can you remember who ran away with Sticky? Was it Grandma? Or was it Mossy the dog? Answer is Mossy the dog. <coughs> Did you remember? Watch this. Squeeze! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> Good fun. See you soon. Let's go. <laughs> go on. <laughs> can we see what's in our party bags now, please? Yes. Oh, oh, even there was a face painter at Vinda's party, and we had cake and party bags. Look, a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Uh, a pirate! Oh. Ooh, arr. <laughs> I'm going to make you walk the plank. Oh, arr, arr. What's in your party bag, Topsy? We'll have a look in the minute, Sam. Where's Mummy? We don't want to eat. Oh, she's gone to see uh, her friend, remember? Uh, come on. I'll take your shoes off for you. Oh, oh, Mummy's gone to see her friend Julie, and she won't be back until late. Dominique is looking after us until Dad gets home from work. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to play, Topsy? I don't feel like it, Dominique. Oh, that doesn't sound like you. Are you OK? I don't feel very well. Please, can you take my butterfly face paint off? It's itchy. Of course. Come with me. I feel really hot, Dominique. Oh, well, it has been a busy day. Now, just hold still while I take off this last little bit. Oh, oh don't scratch, sweetie. Uh, oh. Come out here. Two red spots on your forehead. Oh, come on here. Let me see your tummy. You've got one, two, three spots on your tummy as well. I think you've got chicken pox, Topsy. Chicken pox? Yes, lots of children at nursery have had them recently. Andy Anderson and little Stevie Dunton had them as well. I don't want chicken pox. I want my mummy. Oh, I know. Tell you what, I'm going to call the doctor and then we'll phone your mummy. How about that? Come on. Thank you, doctor. Yes, I understand. OK, bye-bye. <sighs> Poor Topsy. Dr Price said your spots are chicken pox. 
Please, can we speak so I'm on the phone, Dominique? Yes, we'll call her now. Dominique phones Mummy's phone, but Mummy doesn't answer the call. Now, now, Kerry, Tim, please, will you quieten down for me? Why? Because Topsy's not very well. She's got chicken pox. How do you know Topsy has chicken pox? Because she has spots. Look. Can I see your spots, Topsy? I've got two on my forehead and three on my tummy. What does it feel like, Topsy? It's all itchy. I want Mummy. Poor Topsy. That's it. Time to get into bed now. There we are. <laughs> Snuggle down, sweetie. When I'm in bed, Dominique wipes off Tim and Kerry's face paint in the bathroom. But Topsy's the only one with chicken pox spots. I've brought Dr. The sausage dog for you. Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Can I see your spots again? Oh, you've got some spots in your cheek now. One, two, three spots. I've spoken to your dad on the telephone, Topsy, and he's going to come home as soon as he can. Now, he asked me to give you some of this medicine. Just one spoonful. Have you tried calling Mummy's telephone again? Yes, but it's still switched off. Sorry, mm -hmm. Topsy. I did leave her a message, though. Mm -hmm. That's OK. I've got this on my bunny to cuddle. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Now, will you try and get some rest for me? OK. <laughs> Thanks, Dominique. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> get well soon, Topsy. Later, Kerry and I make Topsy a Get Well Soon card. And it's Look, I've drawn a picture of Topsy, Tim. <laughs> that doesn't look like Topsy yet. Can I do something, please, Kerry? I've drawn some red spots on Topsy. <laughs> now that looks like Topsy now. Hello? Where are you all? <laughs> Topsy! Are you feeling any better? A little bit better. Come and sit over here, Topsy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Look, Topsy, we made a card for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's spotty, <laughs> like me. <laughs> Mummy! Oh, it's you, Dad. Hello. Oh, hello, my little Topsy twin. I hear you've got the chicken pops. Not the chicken pops, Dad. <laughs> the chicken pops. <laughs> How are you feeling? A bit, a bit better <laughs> now that you're here. Oh, good. Now, how about I take over from Dominique? I'll look after you instead. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with them. Oh, poorly Topsy. You're welcome. After Dominique and Kerry go, we all snuggle up under a blanket on the sofa. Dad lets us watch a film right to the end. The end. Right. Time for bed. You both need a good night's sleep. <sighs> I think you've got little Moon Bunny. Oh, where's Moon Bunny? Where's Moon Bunny? Did I get her? Can't we stay up until Mummy gets back? No, I'm sorry, Topsy. It's important you get your sleep. But Mummy will come straight <laughs> up and give you a kiss when she gets back, I promise. OK? I'm back. <gasps> Mummy! How's my top-tastic Topsy? I've got chicken pox. Oh, so I hear. I rushed back as soon as I switched my phone on and got my message. I missed you. Oh, darling. Go say hello. And how is my twin tabulous Tim? <laughs> Have you been looking after Topsy for me? Yes. Kerry and I made Topsy get well soon card. And that's when Mummy said. Tim, you're so hot. I think you've got chicken pox too. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. 
Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Oh, you Just both, like me. You've both got chicken pops. They probably look like that. Chicken pop, chicken pop. <laughs> no more play dates or parties until you're both better. Well, that's right, Topsy and Tim. But right now, it's time that we got you two into bed. Come on. And that's the mummy. What was that? that? Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Topsy had chicken pox. But can you remember who else got chicken pox? Was it Dad? Or was it Tim? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is me, Tim. Watch this. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon! Ah! <laughs> Hello, Topsy the Wolf. Hi, Grandma. Where's Mummy? Is she all right? Fine. She's in the kitchen. Mummy! Hello. Ah! Oh! <laughs> there you are, my little wolf girl. Mummy, I'm the big bad wolf. <gasps> yes, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a look at your bandage, please? Yes. Are you all right? Of course I am. Where's Tim? He's outside. He's coming in in his house costume. Should we go and find him together? Yeah. Come on. Here you come. That's it. Find the step. Come on, Tim. Oh, <laughs> you look great. <laughs> mummy, mummy, mummy! Well, how's your wrist? Please, may I hug you? Oh, of course you can. My wrist is fine. I want to hug with both of you, please. Mm. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry I missed your nursery school play, Topsy and Tim. It's OK. It's OK. Have you been to hospital? Yes. Mm -hmm. I went to see the doctor and he said my wrist is fine. It's just a sprain. <laughs> That'll teach me to go running and then I fall flat on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat, George. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Over here. There we go. Let Mummy sit down there. That's it. Now, tell us all about your performance of the Three Little Pigs. It was great! We bowed like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder who that could be. I don't know! I'll go and get it. <laughs> 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 Hi! Hello, come in. Hi, Hello, Hello, Ray. Hello, Ray. Hey, have a seat, Barry. Hello. How's your arm, Joy? Oh, it's absolutely fine, thank you, Farah. <laughs> Nothing serious. I'm just so sad I missed their play. Surprise! We're going to do our play, The Three Little Pigs, again. Now, just for you, Mummy, right here. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> OK, we're going to need a stage. Oh, Let's yeah. move the sofa. Right, George, 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 Exactly like we did at nursery school, with Ray as our narrator. Until I remember something important. Oh no, we can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pigs. <gasps> we do. Yes, I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good as a pig, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. You <laughs> need your nose. Ooh. Oh, look. Please snort loudly. You're <laughs> 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 going to be the best pig. Get my nose on. You ready? Nice and tight. <laughs> 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 Is 
is here to play the second little pig. <laughs> I've got somebody very, very special. And she brings the third little pig with her. Pig and the second little pig went to find the third little pig who had built himself a house of bricks. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? It's us. Can we come in? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All three little pigs were safely inside the house of bricks until one of them finally looked out the window. <gasps> Hello. Who's this coming up the garden path? It was the big bad wolf. I'm the big bad wolf and I'm still hungry. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by, by the hair on our, our chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But no matter how hard she blew, the big bad wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. So... Look out, wolf. You're not having us for your tea. Here comes a wolf-chasing ball. Three little pigs no. through the wolf-chasing ball, the big bad wolf. <laughs> and the big bad wolf ran away. <laughs> Happily ever after. The end. Oh, oh I can't clap. Oh, poor mummy can't clap. No. <laughs> mummy! <laughs> mummy! Ow. That was such a loud whistle. Well, you really deserved it. Yes, you. <laughs> Yes, top Z. Can you teach me as well? You know, at nursery school, mm -hmm. everyone had their pictures taken with their mummy and dad and their daddies after the play. Would you like a picture of you and Tim with mummy and me? Yes, please. OK. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mwah! Oh, that's lovely. Can you get a little bit more? Thank you. Ready, everybody? Three, two, one. Piggy! We all loved having our photographs taken. And then Mummy told us some big news. Now, I had an exciting phone call today while you were doing your nursery school play. Do you remember Sam and Trish who came to see our house last week? Yes. Well, they've decided they want to buy our house. <laughs> 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 That's when Dad said, we've sold our house. We've sold our house, Topsy and Tim. We've sold our house, everybody. Yes. Yes, darling. Does that mean we're definitely moving house? Yes, it does, Tim. Is that OK? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, hooray for Tim! And that, said Mummy, was that. Hey. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we performed our play for Mummy. But can you remember what part Dad played? Was it the big bad wolf? Or was it a little pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look! 
look, the answer is a little pig. Watch this. Oh no, we can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pig. <gasps> we do. Yes, I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good at the pig, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you need your nose. Ooh. My nose on. You ready? Nice <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Topsy, Tim, can you come up and help, please? Okay, Dad. Dad wants us to help him with our bunk beds. Tony Welch and his mum and dad will be here soon to collect them. Yeah. Wow, our bedroom looks really strange. It doesn't look like our bedroom anymore. Well, by tonight you'll have a new bedroom. One each. Yes! <laughs> I love our bunk beds. Tony Welch will love them too. <laughs> Dad, mm -hmm. please may I keep this sticker from the bunk bed? Yeah, that's a good idea, Tim. Topsy, why don't you choose a sticker to keep too? Excuse me, please, Dad. Okay. I'll have this butterfly sticker. Okay. I'll look after them for you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Right, better get these downstairs. And remember, you can stick your stickers on your new beds in your new bedroom tonight. I can't wait! <laughs> But it isn't Tony Welch at the door, it's the removal people. Wow, that's huge! It's all black. Today, all of our furniture is going to be put into this removal van. Better ask Sid, let's go. And then Sid and Lorna will drive it all to our new house. Can we come up, please, Sid? Yes, you can, come on. There we go. Up to it. Up we go. <laughs> on the back. Hmm. Will all of our furniture fit in here, Sid? Uh, yes, Tim, it will. Hmm. We'll start by getting our toys for you. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Come on. Oh, yeah! Come on, Tim! Here we go. Find your I bring all of my favourite toys downstairs and put them in the trolley, ready to go to the removal van. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, everyone. Hi, Gary. Oh, hi, Tim. Hi, make way for the bunk bed, please. Hello. We brought you a present. Oh. The blueberry muffins. <gasps> oh. Thank you, Carrie. Can I have one, please? Oh, she can once we finish packing. Thank you. <laughs> we should make some more so I can have one, Mummy. Mm, we <laughs> should. Well, we better get going because we're going to wave you off later. I'll wave goodbye to See you. Later. I'll wave goodbye later, Tim. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Bye. Have you got all your toys, Tim? Um, yes, Dad. I've got all of mine, and Topsy's just upstairs getting little moon bunny. Topsy, are you ready? Look at it, Teddy. Nearly everything's gone. The house is nearly empty. Our toys are ready to be driven to our new house now. Careful of little moon bunny. He's right on the bottom. Now he's on the top. <laughs> With Eddie Caddy and Dr. Sausage. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Can I just say, you two 
been the biggest help today. Moving house makes me feel happy and sad. At the same time, Dad. And me. Me too. Tea break, everyone. <gasps> Good. Dad has a cup of tea on the front lawn. Then pretends to fall asleep in the armchair. <laughs> Wake up, Dad. <laughs> Dad, were you asleep? No, I was resting my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll just get the screws for the bunk bed. It's heavy. Top or the bottom bunk, Tony? Really? I think I might sleep on the top bunk. Good choice. Help me lift this, Tony. Oh, and what do you say? <laughs> Thank you for the bunk bed stop soon, Tim. Oh, it's okay. It's very kind of you both. Oh, Topsy and Tim. Come inside, please. <laughs> we need to say bye-bye to our house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We went back inside one more time and we said goodbye to every room. Now we just need to say goodbye out here. Bye house. Bye garden. Bye front door. We will miss you. We've had some great times in this little house, haven't we? Yeah. But we're going to have even more <laughs> wonderful adventures in our new house. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Everyone ready to go? Yes. 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 Come on. Bye, house. Bye. 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 Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Oh, hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian and Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr, Mr. Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Mind your fingers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Come and visit us in our new house soon. We will. Here we go. And that said, everyone, was that? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were moving house. Can you remember what Mr Fishwick gave us as a moving house present? Was it a rabbit? Or was it a guinea pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello and bye bye, Mr. 
Mr Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's okay, Brian. Yes. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Dad's asked us to post some leaflets for him today. Thank you. To people who might want to use one of his helpful driver's minibuses. We need to get them to the post box on time. You two are very good at stuffing envelopes. We are. I put the leaflet in the envelope, then I pass it to Tim, and then I seal it and stick a stamp on it. <laughs> I love doing envelopes for Dad. Well done. And Dad will be very pleased if we can get all of these posted today. Yes, yes. he will. <laughs> Post to the post box. Mm. Are you out? How? Oh, where is it? Oh. Ah. In our trolley. Oh, oh, good idea, Tim. Doorbell, I'll get it. Oh, I'll open the door. Okay. It's Mr. Rosen and two of his oh. friends. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Mr. Rosen, Hello, Mr. Rosen, please come in. Mr. Rosen tells us that he and his friends were just driving past our house in the helpful driver's minibus when the minibus stopped working. The minibus doesn't work. Look. Oh. Where were you going in the minibus, Mr. Rosen? Well, uh... Mr. Rosen tells us that he and his friends were going on an outing to the theatre today when their bus broke down just outside our house. Oh. I'm sure the driver will fix it for you, Mr. I Rosen. hope so. Please, Ooh. please sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Oh, and who you. would like a cup of tea? Oh, yes. well, thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> oh, now, let me introduce all my friends to each other properly. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd, these are my good friends, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Topsy and Tim. These are my great friends, Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd. Hello. Hello. Oh, very pleased to meet you, Topsy and Tim. We've heard such a lot about you two. Would you like to know a secret about Mr. Nicholas? Yes, please. please. He can do a very good owl impression. <laughs> and, um, wow. Would you like to know a secret about my friend, Miss Kidd? Yes, please. Yes, please. She can play the ukulele. What's the <laughs> ukulele? This is a ukulele. Oh, wow. This is a ukulele. It looks like a small guitar. You're right, Tim. Miss Kidd always brings her ukulele on our bus journeys. Can you play it for us, please, Miss Kidd? Yes, please. Of course I will. Um, let me see. Sister Topsy, Sister Topsy, Brother Tim, Brother Tim, The bus is broken outside, We're all here inside, We're Topsy and Tim. With Topsy and Tim. <laughs> oh, oh, you are good. Thank you, Tim. There's tea and biscuits in the kitchen now. Yay! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Rosen. Please, will you show me how to play, Miss Kid? Yes, I will. Are you hold that like that. Does anybody take sugar? Yes, please. <laughs> Three. Okay. <laughs> Very unusual, Mr. Nicholas. While Tim plays the ukulele, I put sugar into Mr. Nicholas's tea. He drinks it with three sugars. One, two, 
fish. Three! Oh, thank you, Topsy. <laughs> Good gracious. There's a lot of envelopes. Can we help? Yes. We can tidy up the envelopes. Oh, lovely. In time to Tim's music. Good idea. Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Try pressing here with a finger on your other hand and strum again. That sounds even better. Yes, that's because you're playing a chord. A chord? What's a chord? That's what musicians call it when you put your fingers on here to make nice music. Mummy talks to me and playing a chord. Well done, Tim. And there are songs we can all sing if you keep strumming that chord. Get ready to sing, everybody in the kitchen. Okay. okay. <laughs> there were ten in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. There were four in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were three in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were two in the bed. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Kid. I think I've broken your ukulele. No, Tim, you haven't broken it. I just need to do this. Watch. <laughs> Miss Kid retunes the ukulele so it sounds great again. There we go. <laughs> now you can play it again for us all. Okay. Get ready to sing, everyone. Okay. Ready? Ready? There were two in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. It's the last envelope! There was one in the bed and the little one said, Hooray! Well done, Tim! Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Kid. Thank you for teaching me how to play the ukulele. <laughs> It was so much fun helping you, Tim. Thank oh, you. Hello. The mini bus is fixed, everyone. Hooray! Look at the state of my hands. Yeah. Oh, you can wash them in the kitchen if you like. Straight on for me. Thank you. We're going to the theatre. Yeah. Hooray! Yay! Tip top. Off we pop. <laughs> what did you say, Miss Kid? Oh, Miss Kid always says, tip top, off we pop, whenever she's leaving somewhere. Please, can you say it again, Miss Kid? Tip-top, off we pop. Oh, or how about tip-topsy, off we popsy? <laughs> <laughs> or tim-topsy, off we posty. You've got all those envelopes to oh, post, yeah. remember? Yeah. Okay, the trolley. And that's when Mr Rosen said, there's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus. There's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus, Topsy and Tim. We can give you a lift to the post box. Yay! Come on, everybody. What do we say? Tip top, off we pop. <laughs> and that said, everyone was that. Oh. Careful. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play! <laughs> Today we had a sing song. But can you remember what instrument Tim learned to play? Was it a ukulele? Or was it a recorder? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is a ukulele. Great game! That was 
good fun. See you soon. Here you go, Mummy. Thank you. It's not much space for them. No, it's full now, isn't it? Mummy and I are packing all of our books into boxes, ready to move them to our new house. Can I hold them down? Yes, please. Can you hold the tape for me? Thank you, Topsy. That's going to be Tony Welch and his mum. It's Elaine and Tony Welch. Oh, hi, Tony. Hi, Elaine. Come on in. Hello. Tony Welch and his mum are here with Tony's new baby brother to measure our bunk beds. They're having our bunk beds when we move. Isn't he adorable? Hi, Tony. Shh. Hi, Topsy. Why are you whispering? Baby Jack is sleeping. Where's Tim? In the kitchen with DIY Derek. <laughs> Down for us, lovely. Hi, oh, Tony. There, thank you. And those. May I play with Baby Jacqueline? Yes, of course, Topsy. When he wakes up. <laughs> when is he going to wake up, Elaine? <laughs> Not yet. Baby Jack needs his sleep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we need to be quiet. Baby Jack is asleep. Oh, okay. I've done the washing machine. What's next, Joy? Oh, great. Um, do you have a tape measure, please, Derek? Elaine, Tony's mum, is here to measure Topsy and Tim's bunk bed. I certainly do. <laughs> now, do you want me to measure it for Tony's mum, or do you two want to measure it with me using my tape measure? Yes! <laughs> Let's go and get to work. Quietly. Come on. in my bedroom. Good. Oh, now, let's measure them for your mum to check that they'll fit in your bedroom, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> OK, let's have the tape measure. Right, now then, Tony Welch, I want you to hold that there at the end of the bed. Mm. OK, don't worry. Topsy, can you take the rest of the tape measure right to the other end of the bed? Is it OK if you saw Moon Bunny help? I think that's a very good idea. Right to the end. Can you reach? Just. That's good. Well done. OK, that's that's nice and straight. OK, now let me take that. Let me see how long the beds are. Oh! <laughs> I slipped out of my fingers. Sorry, Derek. That's all right. Never mind. We'll try again, shall we? Yeah. Everyone? OK, yeah. let's try again. Right. Hold it nice and tight there, Tony Welch. Topsy, same again. I might not do it with Little Moon Bunny this Without time. Without Little Moon Bunny this time's a good idea. Okay. Right. Well done. OK, I've got it. Both of you move away so I can see. And let's see what the measurement for this one is. 94... To... <laughs> oh, it slipped out of my fingers again. Sorry, Derek. Never mind. You two are not very good using the tape measure, are you? <laughs> I know. Tony Wells, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. Dr Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? I don't know. Well, I'll show you, shall I? OK. Now, Topsy, you hold Dr Sausage Dog's nose it, at there. It's quite high. It is quite high, but you can reach. That's good. Now, you put your hand right on the end, like that, there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go nose to tail. Nose to tail. <laughs> All the way along the bed. OK? Is that good? OK, so nose to tail. tail. Topsy, you do two. that. That's two. And nose, nose to, to tail. tail. Three. That's three. We'll Together, we move Dr Sausage Dog along the bunk bed four times. Just about four Dr Sausage Dogs. There we are. Our bunk beds, four Dr Sausage Dogs. Yeah, right. Better write that down. Four... 
Dr. Sausage Dogs. There's some tea down in the kitchen for you, Derek, Thank and you. some juice for your helpers. Yay! Coming, Mummy! I'm bringing Little Moon Bunny to show Baby Jack. Good idea. <sighs> Did you know the bunk beds are for Dr. Sausage Dogs' lawn, Mrs. O'Dell? Really? <laughs> that is good work. Isn't it? <laughs> now then, shall we measure how high they are? Yeah! Come down here then and let's measure how high they are. I want to... We finished measuring our bunk beds and had our drinks, but Baby Jack is still asleep. <laughs> when will Baby Jack wake up, Elaine? Oh, I'm sure it won't be long now, Topsy. Right. Thanks for the tea, Joy, and I hope the move goes well. Oh, thanks for your help, Derek. Uh... And thanks for your clever way of measuring the bunk beds. I've got all my Dr. Sausage Dog measurements, thank you. Ah, well, no, don't thank me. Thank my helpers, Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. We're Topsy and Tim and Tony. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got to go. Bye, all. <laughs> Bye, Derek. Bye. The tape measure! Through all the noise. No need to look so worried, helper. And thank you for that. Bye, all. Oh, thanks for coming, Derek. See you soon. Bye. 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 Oh, baby Jack's never going to wake up and play with me. <laughs> Talk now, Baby Jack's waking up. I'll speak to you later. Yes, Baby Jack's awake. Do you like Little Moon Bunny? Oh. Hello, Baby Jack. Oh, he's gorgeous. How are you? <laughs> he's not answering. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Baby Jack had some milk, a burp, and a nappy change, and then he was ready to play with us. Hello, I'm Eddie Teddy. Hi, Mummy. And I'm Little Moon Bunny. Hello. Hello, Baby Jack. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what about Dr. Sausage Dog? He's reaching the Dr. Sausage Dog. Oh. Look, Mum! Oh, look at that big Baby Jack smile. He's never smiled like that before. You're what? right. It's his first big smile. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. And that's what Mummy said. Next time we play with Baby Jack, we'll be in our new house. Next time we play with Baby Jack, we'll be in our new house, Topsy and Tim. He won't even remember that we ever lived in this house. Isn't that strange? I'll never forget this house, Baby Jack. <laughs> We've lived in this house since we were babies. Like you, we love our house. And you'll love our new house just as much. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, Mummy. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we measured our bunk beds with DIY Derek. Can you remember which toy we used to measure our bunk beds? Was it Eddie Teddy? Or was it Dr. Sausage Dog? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dr. Sausage Dog. Watch this. I know. Tony Welch, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. Dr. Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr. Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? Great game! That was good fun. See you soon.